CAFO uh, means concentrated animal feeding operation, and that's a term used in the Clean Water Act to define the largest of, of our factory farms. And most people probably think that farms are, uh, you know, small operations with a few dozen cows or pigs or a few hundred uh, chickens, but that's not what farms are anymore. And over the past three or four decades, uh, the size of animal production operations in the United States has really uh, significantly concentrated. And now it's, it's common to have hundreds of thousands of, of poultry at one facility or 50,000 cattle maybe or hundreds of uh, thousands of hogs at, at a single facility. And the problem is that that concentrates manure production too. And oftentimes there's simply no treatment for the manure at a facility, and there's not enough land to safely apply it to the land. The, the manure is the, main, is the main concern for us at, at factory farms. There's just too much of it to be safely managed. And what happens is that it ends up running off into the water supply, and that results in fish kills, uh, algae in lakes and rivers and, and streams, uh, high levels of bacteria and other kinds of pathogens that can make our sources of drinking water unsafe. Uh, there are dead zones uh, in the Chesapeake Bay and the Gulf of Mexico, and large factory farms contribute to those problems. I think most people would probably be very surprised to learn that there is no monitoring for air and water quality at factory farms. A regular factory or a sewage treatment plant in a city is, is fairly carefully monitored, but at a factory farm, it's not like there's going to be a, an air quality monitor at the fence line or, or any routine water quality monitoring that takes place. We do know from enforcement actions that uh, EPA has taken at a couple of very large factory farms that there are very high levels of air pollution associated with factory farms and, and also high levels of phosphorus and, and uh, uh, pathogens running off from factory farm waste. Well, excessive phosphorus and nitrogen in our water supplies are, are a bad thing. It, it uh, makes it uh, uh, difficult to recreate in waters uh, because of uh, algae, uh, because of fish kills, uh, and also, uh, when there's excessive algae in our, in our drinking water supplies, more chemicals have to be used to treat uh, the water. And some of those can cause what are known as disinfection byproducts, which some of which can, can cause cancer. And it's also, it's been very costly for some cities that have had to upgrade their uh, drinking water treatment systems uh, because of high levels of, of phosphorus in, in their intakes. Well, factory farms generate somewhere around 500 million pounds of uh, waste every year, and that's about two to three times uh, what humans in the United States produce. And uh, when humans produce waste, it goes into a sewage treatment plant generally, and there's, there's a treatment system for it, but that's not the case with factory farm waste. It's just a, generally applied to land, and there's no treatment required for it uh, whatever. There's been a lot of coverage about water pollution problems from, from factory farms, but uh, air pollution uh, problems are, are very significant and, uh, and have not been uh, addressed hardly at all at, at factory farms. And when manure degrades, it uh, produces uh, ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, and those are toxic gases and make life very unpleasant for the people who live around factory farms. But they're also really a, a national pollution problem. Uh, factory farms generate about 73% uh, of the ammonia emissions in the United States. And ammonia is a precursor for fine particle pollution, which causes asthma and uh, can even cause premature death in people who have respiratory uh, diseases. So it's, uh, that's a significant problem. Hydrogen sulfide is, is uh, an extremely important air pollution problem at factory farms. Workers at factory farms have died from hydrogen sulfide poisoning, and state and federal agencies like the Center for Disease Control have uh, even found that public health emergencies exist around some factory farms because of hydrogen sulfide pollution. I think uh, people should also 
learn for themselves from the studies that have been done and find out more about the problems at these facilities. I think it's, it's sometimes hard for people who are consuming these products and feeding these products to their children to really uh, take a serious look at where their food is coming from. And if more people did that, I think we'd have a safer food system.